Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. Guess I'm just gonna offer you another video uh, kind of explaining that one just never knows what they're gonna find. I moved from my last location down the road. I used to live up there on the hill on 20 acres. I moved down here, down the road, to a uh, nice little straw bale guest house. It's my electric bicycle, it's kind of cool. Uh, so this is a straw bale guest house. Very small, again, but it's on 10 acres. It's surrounded by 20 acre parcels, uh, 50 acre parcels. I mean, there's just nothing really that I can see here in terms of EMF exposure. And I want to show this to you. I was not feeling comfortable inside the house. I didn't quite know why. So I'm standing here and I'm showing you this opening right here. That This goes down the driveway and then to the road. All right, and there's a little bit of an opening here. And I want to show you this. See if I can get this in focus here. There's a little bit of distortion on the meter, but check this out. Check out this pulse, like that. See that pulse just went up to 41 microwatts per square meter. That just went up to 75 microwatts per square meter. That just went up to 59. And I, I really have no idea where this pulse is coming from. I'm trying to get the camera angle good here so you can see this. There's an 85 microwatts per square meter. 94. 83. And I have no idea where these pulses are coming from. There is a cell tower way off in the distance, but listening to the meter, I'm, I'm getting the speaker very close here to the camera, I only hear a faint sound of a cell tower in the distance. And this is not exactly the sound that, um, not exactly pulses that I'm used to seeing. So whether it's 5G, whether this is coming from a pulse from military radar, there is a military base about 35 miles from here. But also, this new Safe and Sound Pro will pick up 5G within its frequency range. And its frequency range is 650 megahertz to 10 gigahertz accurately, and it will pick up to 12 gigahertz with a little less accuracy. Um, one of my favorite meters now, actually, and uh, here's notes that I give people when they purchase these meters from me. These are reference notes, but you can see here slight concern, 0.1 microwatt per square meter to 10 microwatts per square meter. Severe concern, 10 microwatts per square meter to 1,000 microwatts per square meter. And if we look here at the middle of the maximum, this thing, this meter has picked up a maximum peak signal strength of 429 microwatts per square meter. The middle section that you see here is a maximum hold or a peak hold where it holds the highest exposure until it's replaced. But check out, check out these pulses. 24 microwatts per square meter. 23. And this is coming right through this house. So I'm going to take you into the house. And show you that I basically had to cover two walls with RF shielding fabric. Literally just ruined the view, <laughs> ruined the light coming through the windows. All right, but now this is where I sit at my desk. 
and the those pulses from the military base or the the cell tower I don't know what we're coming right through here but as you can see behind the RF shielding fabric now it's cut down the pulses really to almost nothing this meter does not go down to zero the nature of the meter is its lowest reading is about 0.4 so you can see it's very quiet inside of here and then up here on the loft my bed is behind this wall and I put another piece of RF shielding I hung it over the wall and then it hangs down behind my bed I put another piece there so this video is not trying to sell anybody radio frequency shielding fabric it's just to show you the absolute insane remediation that's necessary for a lot of people these days so you can see um, a pulse just came through at about 1.27 microwatts per square meter um, but it cuts it down a lot compared to what it was outside so one just never knows unless you have a meter and I just uh, if you don't mind I'll put in a pitch this is the safe and sound pro it's some of the latest technology on the market it's got a sound function you know an audio function for uh, the digital measuring the digital signature so you can hear sorry so you can hear the digital signature of what you're measuring when I provide these to customers I also provide the reference notes like that where you can cut them out paste them on the back of the meter and again this meter is said by the experts who designed it that it will read 5G frequencies within its range and for a while 5G is not going to just shoot up to 24 and 48 and 50 and 100 gigahertz for a while 5G frequencies will be using lower frequencies so it will read 5G within that frequency range uh, right there as you can see but um, I just wanted to show you what's going on this is very disappointing to me you know moving into this nice little guest house cozy cozy little guest house it's kind of a mess but uh then just having to stick up the RF shielding all over the walls just to stop these pulses coming through whether they're coming through from a cell tower or from the military base I don't really know but as you can see professional level remediation products work this is Swiss Shield Naturel I have here the uh, RF shielding clothing that I provide to customers all over the world that works it's professional quality remediation and so as you can see the meters barely registering in here but when we went outside there was extremely high pulses so if you're living in populated areas in cities I I don't know what to tell you it's just this whole wireless exposure issue is just out of control thanks for watching